How about you from 724? Are you Jew homosexual? Who are you? What do you want? 724. Hey, Clay, this, Clay, this is Richard. Now, Yeah, I hello, gotta, Richard. Yes, my, my grandfather, his name was Carl Stauffenberg. And he was a camp guard at Jabitbergen Prison during World War II. And the stories he told me and my father definitely do not line up with what you're saying about the Holocaust. And I really, really like to get your reasoning and, and why you think it didn't happen. I know the reports that I've got, the studies I've made, the people that went over there to examine the uh, camps over there found no signs of anybody being gassed. It's a lie, and the Jews have been using the six million. Oh, we we've got six million Jews. We've got six million Jews in the Ukraine that are being persecuted. Send money, send money. They've used it as a way to uh, raise money since well before the turn of the century. And at the before World One, World War One, they've used it as a fundraiser because that's just the way they are. They're lying motherfuckers. You got a problem with that? Do you? It's it's almost like you get your information from the National Choir off a of Cracker Jack box. Probably that's where you got your. Fuck you. Go to hell. Yeah, right. Uh, I was calling in because you asked for uh, Jew homosexuals to call in, so that's why I was calling. Yeah, you're a Jew homosexual, all right. You can yes, uh, kiss my ass. No, no, never mind, never mind. You'd like that. Fuck off. 813, who are you? What do you want? Who are you? Where are you? Two simple questions. Try answering those and then tell me why the fuck you're calling my show. Hello, Clay. How are you this morning? This is Timothy calling from Timothy Bible College. You're a lying son of a bitch. I know Timothy Bible calls, I'm and not you don't have anything to do with I'm it. Not, You're a lying cocksucker. I don't Timothy. take calls. I, no, am, I don't listen. You, I don't take calls from lying cocksuckers. Thank you anyway. I'll just hang up on you. Well, don't hang up on me. I, I thought you wanted to talk about some stuff. I don't think you know anything to talk about. I think you're just a lying motherfucker trying to take up my time on the chat room. And I, I don't have not. time I'm to mess with I'm fucking trying, idiots. I, will you listen to me for a second? No, I won't. I Goodbye, you ignorant motherfucker. Don't call again. And let's see, we got two block numbers there. Fuck you. And a 213. If you're not busy sucking somebody's dick, try talking to me. Hi, Clay. This is George from Los Angeles. I hope everything's going all right this morning. Well, everything's working except for the stupid people calling in in the chat room. What's your reason, yeah, but, George, for calling? So I wanted to get some more insight about the giants living with the humans in the inner earth. I've heard you talk about that in the past, and I haven't been able to find much material about that. Can you can you well, explain that to me, like how, how they live together and what they really eat well, down there? From the, I'm, from the information from the people that lived with them, that saw them, this is the last uh, century, about 100 years ago, the Norwegians that sailed in there and stayed with them and lived with them, they got along fine together. They uh, they were part of the one of the races that lived in the inner earth. And they lived with them peacefully, right uh, alongside, I guess, the mastodons that uh, Admiral Byrd saw there in the inner earth. And uh, there's also the UFOs, I believe, personally, I believe that's where the UFOs come from. That's, I don't believe they come from light years away. I believe they come from the uh, North Pole, South Pole, the entrances there, the, where Admiral Byrd flew in and uh, read his diary, and he'll tell you how he saw it. So did he sail in or fly into the inner earth? He flew in. Admiral Byrd flew okay. in. The uh, Norwegians uh, that... Uh, they sailed in. 
that was the last century. So I guess global warming may help open up these entrances to the inner Earth. If it's going to thaw out the ice in, in Antarctica and the North Pole, we may be able to see the inner Earth for ourselves. It could be. They're not supposed. They're not supposed to fly uh, over those entrances. Those entrances are blocked. The uh, they don't even allow satellites to blow, fly over them. I believe they've even uh, tried to cut it off of Google Earth, so you can't see that. It's a part of a cover up. But if you'll stay tuned with me, I will be talking about that uh, at least some of the uh, what they found at the under the ice there in um, Antarctica as part of the uh, one of the shows going to be today as soon as well, I get I was rid of all these were, I was wondering if you were going to touch about John McGill brought this up about how the popula- the giants and the humans in the inner earth were sick of the people living on the crust of the earth because they hated giants. So they sent up homosexuals and transgenders to wipe out the population. Is that true, or is that just something that has been a lie promoted? I think that's probably just one of the lies. The homosexuals, the transgenders, the, uh, and probably uh, supported and egged on by Obama, our queer president with a transsexual wife, the first Michelle was trans man. Yeah, it's Michael no. Obama, not uh, not Michelle. It was uh, he was born Michael, and Obama's even slipped up a few times and referred to me and Michael. And if you watch uh, the uh, clip of Michael dancing or Michelle uh, dancing uh, on uh, Ellen's show, you can see his dick. Numerous shots of his dick there, and uh, Ellen and other shots. Shit. Clay, Michelle is a man. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? I've beaten off to Michelle a few times. Am I gay now because I beat off to Michelle? Shit. Does that make me gay? Well, no, it just makes you a sick, stupid motherfucker. Goodbye, sir. Thank you for oh, calling. Good. Hey, you? Hello. You've been holding for a long time. Yeah, I was just calling in. Who uh, are you? My name's uh, Taylor Dills. Repeat uh, that, please, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, Taylor Dills with the D. All right. What can the I do gentleman, for you? The gentleman you had on today was talking about the Kabul and the Rebel Alliance. And it's very interesting because these vehicles that he was referring to, these TIE fighters that he was referring to, um, and the Millennium Falcon, um, were those also frozen in time? No. Millennium Falcon, that's uh, you're talking about a Star Wars creation. And what he was talking about is the Spear, uh, Spear Alliance. And that's, I thought you uh, said Rebel, Rebel Alliance with the SSR. I don't believe so. But I've got the whole thing along with the uh, video up on my website, Free American 69, on Facebook. Okay. You can go back and check that out in detail. Because he was saying this, you know, secret uh, space, Project that he re- referenced Secret a lot. Secret Space Program, yes. Yep. S. Yeah. Yeah. The SSP and what he's trying to, do, you know, I think another guest was talking about this, but the transgenders and the homosexuals, they do play a role in this because they were the first ones here from outer space, and that's evidence from from uh, Admiral Burge's diary, and he referenced that. Quite often, I don't Have recall. I recall. I read Admiral Byrd's diary. I don't recall him saying anything about a bunch of fucking queers. I think this is just bullshit <laughs> that they're him. putting out. 
he didn't refer this is to bullshit that they're putting out uh, talking about uh, Bruce Jenner, and I refuse to use his new feminine name. Which is? And this is just uh, more of their propaganda that they're trying to put out there to well, if try to. Diary, if you read his diary, he talks. He talks a lot. He doesn't call them queers, but he calls them homosexuals, transgender, LGBT. But what he says is that they were sent here basically to destroy the children because the no. children are the ones that are going to die first. If you, if no, you he them, doesn't. If you... No, he doesn't. That uh, you're you're spouting a bunch of bullshit that's put out when they tried to to. Uh, and this is part of Obama's propaganda bullshit. He tried to make June the LGBT uh, month to try to give some legitimacy to a bunch of fucking queers. And well, I'm not going to let you do that either. Don't I'm I don't want to talk I, about I, them. I'm not giving them any legitimacy because they don't deserve any. They're scum of the earth. They're a bunch of fucking queers. They don't have anything. They don't have any bloodline. That is all bullshit and some kind of propaganda that their organizations well, are putting out to give them in? some kind of legitimacy. Shut up! In, no, you can't. You want to I, promote? I, you want to promote these bunch of homosexuals? Fuck you! You ain't gonna do it on my no, show. Nobody's nobody's promoting anything. I'm, yeah, I'm you just are. Promoting the book. Yeah, you are. Um, Don't fucking sit there no. and lie to me. You can't lie to me, you ignorant son of a bitch. Well, Don't call in here and use my show to promote this kind of bullshit. Admiral well, Byrd didn't say that. anything about a bunch of fucking queers. He talked about he, he talked about the, the earth. spaceship. He talked about the, the flying saucers. Shut can up! Can I get a word in? Can I get a no, word you in can't. Here? Go to hell. Goodbye. Ignorant fucking queer. One five. Who are you? How are you doing? What's on your mind? It's Mickey Thompson. How you doing? Yeah, speak up. Your volume's low. I was calling. Um, the gentleman today was talking about the secret space programs, the MIC, uh, K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E program. And I want to know more about that. Fine, go to my website, Free American 69, on Facebook. You can hear the whole okay. uh, two hours that it'll be on, or tune into my show tomorrow, and I'll have what's his name? The balance of the uh, clip tomorrow. What What is the gentleman's name that was speaking? Corey Good, G O O D E. Okay, because like I said, these MIC, the K E Y M O U S C programs, um, are they were popular in the '60s they, when they became relevant, and most what what they are calling now these inner Earthlings, um, they tried to tie them to the these angloid humanoids and the you know what what's the problem with that rationale is the the more you look at it the less you get out of it if that makes sense more is less in this case you believe in the inner earth that admiral bird I, talked I, about i do i've read his book um he, I don't think he was that up on this whole MIC, uh, K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-C program. And he, I think that was probably before his time. But, what are you talking uh, about, Mickey Mouse? What are you talking about? That's bullshit. No, the MIC, the Secret Space Program. Secret Space Program. Oh, well, I believe we've got yeah, a Secret that's... Space Program. I know we've got the... Uh, Anti-gravity planes. We've uh, reverse engineered well, those. Seen, have you seen um, the Angloid seductions? That it was in the. It was interesting. So, 
they basically had a whole online chronicle of, you know, Admiral Burge in his diary. And they were saying that a lot of, I, I think there were dragons and things of that nature, maybe not dragons, but possibly dragons, were, were here before the Angloids came through. And I, I the dragons were what? Repeat that, please. That, that they were here before the Angloids had succeeded out of the inner earth. And I and I think that the Cabal, when you talk about the Cabal and the MIC program, the KUIMLUSC, and he looks at both differences in a different way. And I think it spells out a, a, a you know a, an interesting point when when you relate to to the Angloids and these inner earth. Oh, wait a minute! Just let me that, stop you there. Who are the Angloids that you're talking about? I haven't uh, heard anybody use that term. Who are you talking about? Are you talking about the, the pre-Adamites, the ones with the extended uh, skulls? Yes, and the Sodomites. They had to be hidden because they, their extended skulls would be seen and their cover-up would be over. So hard to find not easy to see, but if you ever see one, man, they are weird looking. Let me tell you. I saw one actually down in the Castro district. Must have been seven feet tall. It was late at night. I, I wasn't sleeping well that night, and the, these angloids came through, and one tried to sodomize me. And when I tell you they are hung like a gorilla, I mean it. And this is why they keep tying in his diary the 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 LGBT and the homosexuals are here to take over the world. And I think they might be the supreme race tied to these Angloids. Well, and I think personally, I think yeah, this is all bullshit. And uh, you're just another queer out there trying to uh, glamorize the fucking homos. So, thanks for your Nobody, call, but I no, think it's all bullshit. Nobody Goodbye. Can't. Who are you? Where are How you? you? And, yeah, I'm fine. Who are you? Uh, Dylan, out of Florida. How you doing? I'm fine. What's on your mind here? Why are you calling there? Um, I got aliens on my mind, and you really, really stirred a lot of questions up that I, I didn't think were true. Okay. What What are your thoughts on Caitlyn Jenner? Fuck you. Fuck Caitlyn Jenner. Fuck Bruce Jenner. He's a goddamn queer, and they're trying to glamorize it. And even you having it on my mind and you calling in on it makes you a fucking queer in my book, too, and not worth talking to. How about that? You were talking about it on a no, your call, your call. No, I'm you, not talking about talking it. About Some it. of you fucking queers call in and want to glamorize Bruce Jenner. Fuck you. How about that? You know, he, can that get you? Can get that? Can you get that? Can you get your head out of somebody's ass long enough to understand that I don't want to talk about Caitlyn Jenner because I don't think Caitlyn Jenner is just. You? What are you? But what? What are your thoughts on UFOs? They exist. We got them. But Germans got them. More and little, the little gray aliens got them. What about them? Well, here's a here's a question for you. What are you, what is your position on homosexuals in the LGBT community? They're fucking queers. 
They are going to be locked in the fucking closet, and you're a dumb motherfucker. How about that? Goodbye.